Hey everybody, Keith K here, and we are back in the South Pacific with another Stranded Deep tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at the spear gun, uh, which I've got pinned in the upper right hand corner there. And uh, if you go to your crafting menu, it's here all the way at the bottom along with the spear gun arrow, which we will uh, make as well so that uh, you can see how to make the ammo. And uh, it's pretty straightforward, um, not too much to it. You just need uh, one duct tape, uh, one leather, two wooden sticks, and the air tank. Uh, the air tank and the duct tape um, you can find in those shipwrecks uh, around the islands. I usually find them either in these containers, although sometimes they're in the lockers that are on the ships as well. Um, so once you have everything here, it's uh, really straightforward. You just go to your crafting menu. Like I said, it's down here on the bottom. Craft that, and you can see that uh, we don't have anything, uh, um, any ammo loaded and uh, your action buttons won't do anything and that's because we still need to craft um, a spear gun <clears throat> arrow and that's right below it it's just one stick and one lashing so pretty inexpensive and then you can see it gets loaded uh, and then you aim with your secondary action menu and then fire with your primary action menu and you generally lose these if they don't go into something uh, like a shark <clears throat> Fortunately, I've made uh, several, and um, something about these that's good uh, is that they can stack, I believe, up to 24. So you can actually um, roll out with quite a bit um, without having uh, your inventory um, kind of taken over by that. And they load automatically, and they reload automatically, so there's nothing you need to do there. They'll reload uh, right after you fire. Um, and we're gonna hang out and see if a shark will come by that we can uh, demonstrate how this is used and if we don't see one here uh, relatively soon I'll take the raft out <clears throat> into the water a little bit and we'll go from there so I'll be back as soon as we've got a shark all right and we've attracted a hammerhead so we just aim and wait for him to get close enough. Got to lead him a little bit and he'll charge you. Ah, I think we missed him there. And you can see that it just reloads automatically. I'm just holding down the secondary action button and it's firing away. There we go. So we had 17, we've got eight. So if those all hit, it took nine. Um, we'll just drag him back to shore here. Let's see. Take a look at him. And I haven't really uh, experimented with this too much to see if you recover all of your um, spear gun arrows or not. Um, let's get him up here. Glad I didn't step on that. All right. So let's see. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We had 17, so a couple may have missed there. Um, and that's pretty much it. Not too shabby. Um, and then you just skin these guys just like any other, um, you know, uh, food source. So the birds, the fish, uh, the hogs, you just have to be um, equipped with uh, a blade of some sort in your inventory, um, whether that's the stone tool or the refined knife. And this is a great source of leather as well as the medium sized meat. And the key is fight from a platform of some sort or stand on a rock. Um, I've made the mistake of going in the water and 
Um, you know, you won't necessarily shoot your uh, spear gun fast enough to not get uh, killed. So, uh, let's see. Oh, they looked like medium, but we got three large fish meat. So that's a, actually a great source of meat. And then three raw hides um, so that we can get plenty of leather. All right, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed the video and uh, got something out of it, please uh, do consider giving a like and subscribe to the channel. It uh, definitely helps and uh, will ensure that uh, I keep putting out these tutorials. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you back here soon.